young people are the climate movement. They're becoming more vocal, they're becoming more powerful. The climate movement is about so much more than hugging trees. I want my hope back. Young people are really well placed to be advocates of climate change refugees because similarly they feel that their future is at risk. So are they going to stay on that road of business as usual and go out with a bang or we're going to realize that we're in severely choppy waters and start changing course drastically. Most people don't take action on climate change maybe because they feel their actions are too insignificant or they don't matter at all. What really got me motivated to be active uh, in the in the realm of climate change is, is is my own sort of emotional response to the changes that I've witnessed. A lot of the times older people try to devalidate younger people because we have a lack of experience in our lives and that's valid but if we are super super educated we get to sit around the table as well. I think the most effective types of activism are the ones that are a large scale and get the headlines. So I do think the climate change school strikes are an example of that, where they really are able to mobilize a great number of people uh, across the globe, all taking action at the same time. This collective voice has already sparked a conversation that didn't exist before. Organizing protests and activism in a way that is new uh, and that resonates. But I also do believe that smaller actions where you talk to a politician or you write letters to politicians directly are also very effective. Because apathy on our part will only mean that politicians won't see that we care. If we don't care, they won't care. A lot of politicians still respect that form of advocacy. Those connect the citizen with the representative, which is at the, the cornerstone of democracy. For me, making a difference in the climate change movement means educating myself directly contributing in the field and making people aware about it. Young people talking to older generations, their parents, their grandparents, stimulates the most change. Having an honest intragenerational discussion about climate change makes those who are skeptical about it less skeptical. So it's a very important that young people continue to engage in activism and continue to have hard conversations with those who may be skeptics. The only thing I'd like to add and remind all of us is to be creative and to use our imagination. Whether it's about the next pandemic, whether it's about climate change, or whether it's about a migrant, the sense of empathy that using your imagination by bringing yourself into a situation or into someone else's shoes brings is really one of the most important things that we can do at the moment. The topic of climate change refugees is gaining importance, but there still needs to be a lot of work that's done. I'm hopeful. I see that there's movement. I see that more people are becoming aware of these issues. There are more researchers wanting to study this. There are more students taking classes on this. When I started my research on this, I usually had a kind of tiny little slot at the end of conferences like, let's not forget to discuss climate change and migration. Uh, today, it's often one of the main issues discussed. I think that policymakers and academics need to get out of their heads and more into the hearts and on the grounds of the people who are experiencing this.